and welcome to a very blustery Port Bell lighthouse. So, come down here this morning to uh, catch some waves uh, on the coast here. Um, should be quite blustery. Should provide us some nice, uh, some nice dramatic shots. Hopefully, uh, we're still a good sort of half an hour away from sunrise. Um, the sky is already lighting up. No real colour, so nothing worth setting up for. But I'm just uh, having a search round, just having a look and see if I can find some locations that are both so safe and appealing. So let's have a look. pulpit rock side um, looking across where I've done some done some stuff before but the waves are just banging up over there and going to get absolutely drenched so just coming round to the other side where hopefully I can get a, a better angle Okay, so my first composition set here, looking back towards the uh, needle there on the on the on the front. Uh, got some got some waves crashing up over. Just uh, taking shots. I've uh, exposed for the sky because the sky is quite bright. Uh, currently shooting one sixth of a second F11 ISO 100. Um, so I've exposed for that. We've got some nice detail in that cloud, and um, got this sort of where the waves are crashing up over here. It's uh, made the tops of these rocks here wet, so they're shining slightly. So, so focused on that. Just uh, take a few shots. Of some different waves coming in and then we'll uh, try a different location okay so waves are getting a bit bigger over there and hitting the front and just coming up over the top of me so I've been absolutely hammered by spray so I'm going to uh, move around the other side of Portland Bill here slightly um, and then pick up the waves just around the other side um, I'm also going to come back to here when the light gets better um, put on the long lens and try and pick out some of these some of these waves i think just like the detail in the waves um right let's have a look see if we can find a find another location okay i'm just working my way back round uh but heading back towards the crane that i used on a astro shoot once before um just looking back down the coast um i'm a little little way away from it at the moment but i'm just setting it up in the back of the frame and uh, using the waves at the bottom, just using one sixth of a second F16 ISO 64, just to um, just to pick up some movement in the waves. I do always like a little bit of motion blur in the waves, not frozen. Um, when I do the some of the bigger waves later, I will do them as a faster shutter speed and and freeze the motion. 
okay so that's my composition in the back of the camera with the uh, crane there up on the just up towards the top sort of top third just off the of center may just tilt the cat yeah I may just move it around that's you and bring it to the other side that's you that that's a slightly better composition Okay, I'm really liking this comp. Just come up a bit closer. And I've got that crane, got that pad in front where the waves are breaking off of there and then just running off the back. So I'm just continuously just taking shots, trying to time it right. Um, I am shooting at uh, half a second, so I am on a two second timer as well. So it's difficult trying to get the timing right. Uh, wish I bought my shot release but never mind I haven't so I've got to make do with what I've got good thing is that the wind is behind me so every time one of those big waves hits and it splashes up it's actually blowing away from me so I'm actually uh, although I'm out on a bit of an exposed piece of rock I'm actually I'm actually quite sheltered with the wind Just as I said that, spoke too soon, got absolutely pounded by a massive wave straight up over the top, just had to avoid pull the camera down. Um, I think when I get home, it's gonna need a serious clean salt water spray, it's not good. So, right, let's move on, see if we can find a better, another angle. So this main image is a combination of three images blended together one of which is these foreground rocks and the flow of water coming off of them. The second is blending in some more dramatic breaking waves at the back in front of the crane. Um, and those two blended in with the overall main image to give a far more pleasing finish. Okay, so we've now got the early morning sun just, just starting to break through. Um, hopefully it'll dry me out a bit. <laughs> but, uh, so I've moved along a little bit more uh, along the coast, just around the corner from where I was. Um, just picking up a shot now. Uh, similar composition really, just but without the crane that we turn you around. Okay, so we're just looking along the coast here. A couple of nice, rocks here where the waves are breaking and then the water's running back off of them so getting the back flow as it as it comes back off of those rocks which is quite nice um, I'm gonna think about putting a polarizer on in a minute because the lights now getting up a little bit and then we can start picking out hopefully start bringing out some colors a bit better and also I just need to reduce the shutter speed a little bit more so I'm now shooting ISO 64 f16 one fifth of a second don't really want to go up any more than one f16 because I don't want any diffraction so I think I'll put the put the polarizer on that will just give me a little bit a little bit more play I may even have to think about putting an ND filter on but we'll uh, we'll see how we get on Okay, so I put the polarizer on, got a couple of shots, but to be honest with you, that light is now breaking through and as some of these waves are breaking, the light is just picking up on the tops of the waves. 
so I'm tempted to put a long lens on and start picking out some of the light picking up on the tops of some of these waves. Okay, so now we're on a completely, completely different technique of photography. Um, I've upped the shutter speed up to uh, 500 of a second. I'll probably up it even more. I'll probably go up to a thousandth of a second in a minute to um, try and freeze the motion in the tops of these waves. And as these massive waves are breaking against the front edge. So I've upped the, up the ISO to 320. Um, I want to, like I say, try and get the shutter speed up to around about 800 of a second to 1,000 of a second um, to freeze that motion in those waves. And shooting f f 5.6, nice wide aperture to get as much light in as possible. But obviously that narrows depth of field, but I'm zooming in and picking out detail now. So I don't need that depth of field. And also, I've got it on high speed burst and continuous focus mode. So, right, let's get some shots. disappointing leader lost the light a little bit uh, I'm gonna walk around back around to the other side again where the uh, I was first thing because the waves were that's the sort of leading face around there and the waves were coming in there massive so I'm gonna walk back around um, apologies not talking through and these handheld shots too much as you can appreciate it's just point and click and shoot burst mode and then get back and pick the best ones so when I've got that and chosen which ones I like the most dramatic ones I'll put a few up for you to see in the gallery at the end of the video Okay, so I think we're gonna call it a day, make our way back now, um, back to the van. Let me wish you all a happy new year and um, thanks again for watching. Please hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with all my latest content. Um, give the video a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. And drop me a comment. As always, it's great to uh, get some feedback. So from a blustery Portland Bill. Till next time, take it easy. <laughs>